Hello, it's Medo and today in this tutorial I want to talk to you a bit more about the designing side of the Tamagotchi Smart Mode, making your own sprites and adding them to your card file. Okay, let's go! So first of all, you're gonna need a drawing program or image editing software that allows you to do pixel art on it. I'm using Clip Studio Pen Pro. I'm just doing a normal pen on hard mode with a one pixel setting and it works. But uh, there are programs that are much more adapted to this. Just, I recommend using something with layers to help yourself. So the first thing you need to know is that every Tamagotchi sprite character has a layer system like you always have the base sprites and the body that are separated so just the face and just the body but another thing to know is that each character for example on the smart card you can have like four or more character and each character is gonna have different uh, sprites uh, placement for example the on the y axis for the face and uh, the most important is that you already choose which character in the card you're gonna replace it's very important because it's gonna be only adapted to that character spot basically so like this is the adam sprite i made for my husband hotel set and uh, the one i use as a base is a uh, picagolchi from the rainbow smart card so as you can see i keep like the face <laughs> around the same uh, yeah <laughs> that's a weird, weird combination so there's two important things you need to keep in the same place is roughly the head so that when you put hats they're gonna fit on the head without too much of a problem and uh, also the hand placement really focus on the right the left hand of the character like if you're the character it's it's his left hand because uh often there's like items that can be held by the character and uh, it's always held in that hand so it's important so you're gonna redraw over each sprite so like this is the base one there's one like where he's happy and like jumping and stuff like that so you have to keep in mind that if uh, the jumping sprite has the head that is moved up far by two pixels you need to move up the head of your new sprite that you're customizing by two pixels and same like if the hand is raised in that spot you need to raise the hand of your custom sprite in that spot and uh, so the way i do mine is that so yeah i take i draw over i always place the i don't know if you can see like the face sprite are much thinner like they're not as uh they don't do the full square of the body sprites like the canvas i'm talking about the canvas so it's really important that, that when you draw your your face sprite um it fits into that rectangle i put green so it's more visible yeah as you can see like the bros uh, nothing is coming out when you're gonna export the face sprites you need to keep it at that size like that without the green like that basically you have to keep every canvas size of every sprite you're editing and uh, respect the head and face placement and the left hand placement and also you have to remember that tamagoshi sprites are limited in color palettes so technically it's 16 colors but what you can actually draw is 15 colors because it's not gonna show in the editor but uh, you're always gonna have like a green like a green screen background and that green is the 16 color so always keep in mind to not use more than 15 colors <laughs> so once you have edited all of your sprites 
and exported them. You can export them with a transparent background, it works. So next, I'm going to show you how to add your image to your card file. And uh, we're going to use this website. It's Tamasuma by Tim Stolet. It's the one I've used so far for all my customs. So first, you're going to load the bin file that you have. It's the card file. Uh, if you extracted your own file from IES programmer and that your file isn't finishing by .bin, uh, rename the extension at the end by .bin so you can read it with uh, Tamasuma. Otherwise, it might not it might not work. So yeah. So then you open it. So we are taking the Rainbow Friends. Okay, it's loading. All right. So you go to the character you're replacing. So Kagochi. And then you click on the image you want to replace and it's going to open your files. So me, I want to go to, to get my rainbow. All right, so that's my file. And we open the corresponding one. So uh, an important uh, thing to understand here is the palette system. So for this sprite, I only have two colors so far. Like existing palette is like the is showing the previous colors, and the ones that are checked are the one that stays. So the green is always the background color. Here they are transparent, but. Uh, in the files, it's understood that the green is always like the yeah the, the green screen color basically. So yeah, and the black that was staying. So so I have my green for the background, the black, and the new yellow. Save. So okay. As you can see, it changed. It changes the palette for the big faces and the small faces. Uh, there's certain lines of sprite that have like that share the same palette so all the faces share the same palette uh, i think uh, the body like middle sized body and the small body share the same and the the big face sprites are just uh, by themselves if i'm not wrong i'm just gonna do another one because i want to show this yeah so here, for example, in that one, I have another color. I have the brown one, so... Oh well, no, it's only adding, so it's not a problem. Now that I have the extra brown color in my sprite, if I just have... If I go back to a sprite that has less color, like here, as you can see, um, the brown is not included in the new palette section. So to keep it, so that, so that it doesn't remove the brown from my previous sprite that I already added. You need to check the colors you want to keep, so it adds them to the new palette as well. So always keep that in mind. Like, always check the existing palette section, and if there is colors that are included in your character that are unchecked, you really need to recheck them so they don't get uh, lost. I'll this this one too, okay. So you check your boxes and you save. And voila, as you can see, like the brown is still here. If I hadn't checked, the brown would have turned black. And that's how you had new sprites. You have to do it for the whole thing. <laughs> I'm gonna show you my finished... Uh... Voila, this is my finished file. Uh... It has one cell on my coffee, <laughs> if you are interested. Give all the characters. Oh, this is what you can get, so yeah. So, first you have all the characters, and uh, there is also this section. So this is uh, the preview, what I call the preview, but uh, it's in the Tamagoshi to 
you have like a kind of book to see like what Tamagotchi you raised in the past and if they were happy or if they died sad. So you have uh, always a happy and a sad sprite. And those are the sprites that are already fused. Like the face and the uh, body are already fused together. So yeah. So yeah, the parts that you need to change are the big uh, character layers and uh, those. And also there is here. You have the character icons that you can change to. Well, basically you can change any image you want, the backgrounds and everything. I'm just showing you like what I do for like characters. Once you finished editing everything like you wanted, uh, you can click export. And it's gonna download your new file with a random name, so you have to, re to rename. So it was the presentation on Tamasuma. There is another program I'd like to show. It's Smarty Pants. Okay, so Smarty Pants. Uh, it's a new program for editing smart card that is still a work in progress. Like there's updates that are made, but it has more options. I haven't used it yet to edit the images. I already exported files from it and they are exported in sprite sheets instead of uh, single images. When you export images from Tamasuma, you can export them as single image. So it's kind of easier to work with them on layers. But uh, here they are sprite sheets with uh, all the characters in one line and uh, it depends if you are more comfortable working on spreadsheets you can go with it if you prefer like uh, single images uh, go with Tamasuma to extract them it'll depend what you prefer so um, there's two things that can be really useful in uh, Smarty Pants even if you use Tamasuma as the first uh, way to add your images first with Smarty Pants, you can edit all of the text and it's awesome. I'm, I'm starting to look into it and it's really cool. You can replace the uh, character's name. Uh, you can... The, it's a work in progress. I'm, st I'm starting to translate the whole magical change card in English. So before uh, all the characters and dialogues in the cards were always in Japanese and now there's way too... <laughs> to change them in English and it's really cool and there's also so what you'll be really interested in is the character section uh, if you go on the right you have the edit and you can change the name Mamechi <laughs> all right uh, items it's the same you can uh, rename items etc and there's dialog strings where you can edit all of the text. So like the first section is like first is the title of the smart card. And the second thing is the text. When you first download the smart card and there's the character that comes to greet you and uh, after leaves. But the things they say here. So that and after all the rest is like for the close up uh, dialogues. So that's for the text and uh, another thing that is also very interesting is the frames section because this you'll be able to first first of all preview all of the different uh, like poses and emotions of your Tamagotchi and uh, if you want to check that the face are correctly aligned like this is so great because before before smarty pants existed there was no way to check it you had to like raise the tamaguchi and see if it works and now with this you don't have to so really it's a really really improvement yeah on some cards it will also display the accessories with it so you can also see the placements so um in case the face is not aligned with the body like you had planned and you want to edit it you edit here and uh, what you want to change is the y offset so you change the number and it's gonna 
move it up or down. So the body and the close-ups. And uh, you can also edit the clock, so the placement of the sprites that can be also interesting if you want to do something very customized. Uh, and for the rest, uh, these are not de decrypted yet, so I will put link in the description for Hamasuma, the website. You download Smarty Pins on your computer because it's a program that has to be downloaded. Well, um, I think that's gonna be all for this tutorial. Uh, I hope it was helpful to you. Uh, if you have any more questions, please ask me in the comments. Uh, I'll try my best to help you. <laughs> uh, have a good day. Bye.